In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for NH4Cl plus NaOH. This is ammonium chloride and sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is balance this molecular equation here. What's nice is that this is already balanced, so we don't need to do anything for that. Then we need to write the state in for each one of these compounds. We're going to assume that these two reactants here are aqueous, that they're dissolved in water. Both are very soluble. I suppose you could heat this up and then make the reaction take place, but most of the time in the lab, we'll see these as aqueous. Sodium chloride, when that's dissolved in water, that'll be aqueous as well. Chlorides are very soluble, as are sodium compounds. Water is a liquid, and then ammonia, NH3, that's a gas. Good one to remember that that's a gas. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So we can look on a table of common ions, and we can look up NH4 and know that that has a 1 plus charge. On the periodic table, chlorine, that has a 1 minus. Sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table. That has a 1 plus. And then hydroxide, again, you can look OH up, the hydroxide ion. That's going to be a 1 minus. So we have our plus and our minus. And then when we do net ionic equations, these liquids, gases, and solids, we don't break those up. We keep those together. So we have our ions. Now we can split things up. We have NH4 plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. I'll write that at the end, plus that chloride ion, Cl minus. We have our sodium, Na plus, and then we have the OH minus, the hydroxide. So those are our reactants. Our products, we have NaCl, and this is aqueous. It's going to split apart into its ions, dissociate Na plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. And then water, we said that's a liquid. We don't split that up. And then the gas, NH3, ammonia, we don't split that up either. So these are the products. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So I have NH4 plus here but I don't have that in the products. Cl minus, I do have that in both the reactants and products, so I can cross that out. Na plus, I have an Na plus here, the products as well, cross those out. But everything else is unique. This gives us the net ionic equation. That's going to be this ammonium ion, hydroxide ion, then we have water and ammonia gas. So let me clean this up. Then I'll write the states in, and this will be the very nicely formatted net ionic equation for NH4Cl plus NaOH. And this is the net ionic equation for ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.